वेल आई एम डिपेंड बसो वेलकम टू माय चैनल लर्न साइंस मैथ्स इजी वेल दोस्त मय डिपेंड बसो लर्न साइंस मैथ्स इजी चैनल रे अटाई के स्वागतम जनाइसो आज तो डिटरमिनेशन ऑफ वैल्यू ऑफ पाई अप्लाइंग बेसिक ट्राइगोनोमेट्रिक रेशियो तो बेसिक ट्राइगोनोमेट्रिक रेशियो ट्रिगोनोमेट्री अनुपात व्यवहार करी केने कोई आमी डिटरमाइन करिम पाई वैल्यू टू केने कोई डिटरमाइन करिम इट इज वेल नोन टू आस दैट द पाई इज द रेशियो इट इज ए स्पेशल नंबर एंड पाई इज द रेशियो और द डेसिमल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द रेशियो ऑफ सरकमफेरेंस एंड द डायमीटर ऑफ अ सर्कल सो लेट्स कंपेयर द पेरीमीटर एंड द डायगोनल्स ऑफ द रेगुलर पॉलीगन्स फर्स्ट टू गेट द और टू अटेन द बेसिक और द वन जनरल फार्मूला टू क्रिएट वन जनरल फार्मूला हाउ टू गेट द वैल्यू of pi apply the basic trigonometric ratio so come the determination of the basic trigonometric ratio applying the basic trigonometric ratio how to determine the value of pi in its decimal distribution so let's first compare the perimeter and the diagonals of a regular polygon that is square so this is one square its size is 6 unit so its perimeter is Six four sir twenty four and diagonal is applying Pythagoras theorem diagonal D is root of R six square plus six square so root of R twice thirty six so six root two the calculator and uh, determine the value 8.48528 8 dot, dot, dot. so p by d this is the ratio of perimeter and the diagonal or you can say the circumference and the diameter what is the value of pi so our target is to attain the value 24 divided by 8.48528 so it tends to 2.828 so it is not far away from the applied value what do we apply for the value of pi Though the value of pi is not far away from the applied value of pi, yet uh, I'm trying to get more accurate, closer to the value of pi, what do we apply in the practical life uh, in case of pi. So, let's take another example. That is one regular polygon having six sides. And each side is six unit. So, here, one important point is that we have to divide the regular polygon into six equilateral triangles. So each triangle is congruent. So six equilateral triangles what are congruent. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if this side is six, this is also six. If this side is six, this is also six. So this distance from this point to this distance, it is the diagonal. So diagonal is 6 plus 6 it is 12 and the perimeter or circumference for this regular polygon is 6 into 6 36 so the ratio of this perimeter and the diagonal is 36 by 12 it is 3 it is too much closer value is 3 is to us closer to the value of pi so let us apply here 
the basic trigonometric ratio how to get the value of pi our target is to generate one general formula from this regular polygon so when we increase the number of sides infinitely say n number of sides are there in the regular polygon then how to determine the value of pi using that so if number of sides increases in the polygon it tends to a circle it will become one circle so n number of sides are there and each side is length is n so in this case diameter is d d if we say the diameter is d from here to this point so just now we have got in case of regular polygon intersecting point of the diagonals it divides the diagonal into two equal parts so this is d by 2 when we draw one perpendicular on from the center to side then it is an equilateral triangle in this regular hexagon this is hexagon regular hexagon in this in this case it is perpendicular and it is an equilateral triangle so this perpendicular will divide this side into two equal parts so this one is equal to this one this is l by 2 so if this angle is pi so let's see in case of regular polygon is angle internal angle internal angle of internal angle of regular polygon is equal to twice n minus 4 by n into 90 degree okay so these are divided into six equilateral congruent triangles so this phi and this phi they are equal this is these two angles are equal so if they are equal then phi is half of the angle this angle is say theta this internal angle is theta so this is theta is equal to twice n minus 4 by n into 90 degree so relation between the sides and internal internal angles so our theta is twice phi 2 phi will form the theta so twice n minus 2 by n into 90 degree so 2 2 cancel so our phi is equal to n minus 2 by n into 90. Well, this one I can write n by n minus 2 by n into 90 degree. So n by n is equal 1 minus 2 by n into 90 degree. Let's distribute 90 inside the bracket. So 90 minus 9 to 180 by n. So this is the final value for pi. So this is our pi. Okay. Now let's apply cos of pi. Cos of pi is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse so cos of pi is equal to adjacent side is l by 2 l by 2 divided by hypotenuse is d by 2 d by 2 l by 2 d by 2 this is l by d so diameter is equal to L by cos of 
है सो डायमीटर यू कैन राइट एल बाय कॉस ऑफ फाइव मीन्स नाइंटी माइनस वन एट्टी बाय एन इफ लेंथ ऑफ साइड इस एल वी हैव सिक्स साइड्स सिक्स इनटू एल नो लेट नंबर ऑफ साइड्स इन द रेगुलर पॉलीगन इज एन एंड ऑलरेडी वी हैव अजिम दैट लेंथ इज एल एंड डायमीटर इज D. If we increase the number of sides in the regular polygon, then its a shape will tend towards a circle. It will become looks like a circle. So let's see. We can set a perimeter or the circumference. So perimeter or circumference will become length is L, number of sides is N, L, and L. And diameter is already we have got this one. So what is the ratio? Let's see. Well, we have got these L by cos of 90 minus 180 by theta. And uh, if uh, number of sides is N, NL, perimeter is NL. P by D is equal to P is NL. And D is L by cos of 90 minus 180 by n so p by d is equal to cos of 90 minus 180 by n divided by l l l cancel so n into cos of 90 means sine of 180 by n so p by d we have determined such a formula that if we put here values of n, then directly we will get the value of the ratio or the value of pi. Applying basic trigonometric ratio such this way, applying basic trigonometric ratio, we can get the value of pi. So we need one scientific calculator to determine the value of this easily so i have cal already calculated few values applying this uh, formula let's see is equal to uh, 1000 1000 and is equal to 1 million 1 2 3 1 million and is equal to 10 to the power 10 these values n when n is very large then this value moves towards the applied values for pi so you see when value is n so this p by d circumference by diameter this value becomes uh, 3.14157 4859 when n is 1 million when n is 1 million p by d is equal to 3.14159265366 if n is 10 to the power 10 then p by d is equal to 3.14159265359 in this way we get the values for pi this is the value of pi 
this uh, ratio of circumference and the diameter is called pi. So, such one general formula with the help of basic trigonometric ratio, we can de determine the value of pi. So, if you increase these uh, values, that means size of the regular polygon, then you will get more accurate value for pi. Well, that's the video to connect with the side. If you satisfied, Jodi Bhal Lagi Se, then you will share it, you will like it, and uh, comments me in my comment section. So, thank you for today. Bye.